What's up everybody, it's Jesse from Mullen Woodworks and today is episode seven of the trailer rebuild. Now we are going over actually painting the outside of the trailer. It went way smoother than I thought it was gonna be. Um, besides the fact that uh, between priming and painting, we actually had to tarp it because we had some rain. But other than that, it was really easy. It was a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be and it came out really nice really updated and uh, it finally feels like the trailer's ready to go. So let's get into the episode and the steps I actually took to get it done. So the first thing we had to do was actually sand the outside, scratch up that metal so that the primer uh, could actually adhere to the trailer. So we took 150 grit, um, a couple sanders, and about 30 minutes of actually going through the whole thing. It might have actually been more like 45 minutes, but my wife and I went through, sanded the entire trailer down anywhere we were sp uh, spraying paint or primer. And uh, then we went all through and I blew it off with my blower or, and wiped it down so there was no excess dust from the, uh, uh, what we sanded. Now the first thing before actually spraying the trailer is taping off all the metal anywhere you don't want spray. So I taped off the wooden um, window shield on the front of the trailer and we also taped off any of the metal around the um, windows and the doors and the doorknobs, all that stuff. Super time consuming and we used uh, like a butcher block or a butcher uh, paper and some painter's tape. It worked well, it just, it's, it's probably the most time consuming part of actually painting the trailer. So after everything's taped off, it's time to prime. We use an oil-based primer. You have to thin it with mineral spirits, but after thinning it, and I used a Graco Airless VSP sprayer, it went on super easy. It was uh, uh, actually surprisingly easier than I thought it was gonna be. Um, it went on even, and um, after one coat, it was good to go. After priming, I taped off where we wanted the stripe to be for the black. So it's gonna be white and black um, with the wood trim on the front. We think it's gonna look really cool, kind of retro modern is kind of what we're going for. So we taped off the exact same stripe it was before, a thick stripe in the middle and a thin stripe on the bottom. We taped off the area and painted it black. The same exact paint, we used an oil-based enamel paint that was black. We used mineral spirits to thin it out so it would spray through the sprayer and we used that VSP uh, Graco airless sprayer and it worked really well. Now a tip is I, I probably could have done two coats and I probably should have 
and you make sure you do thin coats so it doesn't drip. Um, but after one coat, I thought it looked pretty good. There are a few thinner spots I had to go back and after and just touch up. But for the most part, it turned out really good. So my advice would be do two thin coats um, and you'll get the perfect thickness um, and no drips. Now, while the paint is still tacky, you wanna remove the tape around where the stripe is. I removed it because if you let it completely harden, you have a chance of actually ripping off some of that paint if it's stuck to the tape as well. So you don't want that. So while it's tacky, it's really easy to come off. So you just pull all that tape around the stripe off and um, that way you have perfectly clean lines. So we let it dry for about two days. So there was absolutely zero tackiness on the stripe. Um, after about two days, we went through and we uh, taped off the black stripe. Now we taped it off because we're painting the rest white and we don't want the white on that black. So um, we retaped a few spots where the tape was peeling around the windows and the door and then obviously the stripe. Once that was all taped off, it was time to do the white. We used that same um, Rust-Oleum oil-based um, enamel paint and I thinned it with mineral spirits again it was really easy I used that Graco sprayer and I sprayed the entire thing down um, I did two coats I went back and I just redid both of them on this one because I kind of saw from the first one you should probably do two thin coats and that's what we did and it turned out really nice um, and we love the outside Love the updated look. Um, we're really happy that the yellow and the orange is all gone and that um, this actually gives an updated, really nice look to the trailer, but also keeping it sort of retro. If you guys have any questions, shoot them down below in the comment section. I'll get back to you. It really isn't that hard. It was pretty daunting at first, realizing once I start this project and start painting, there's no going back and I really didn't want to screw it up, but it was a lot easier 
than I thought it'd be. So um, if you have any questions, shoot them down below. I'll try to get back to you. And make sure you subscribe and check out all the other renovations to the trailer, like the inside, the main cabin, and the bathroom, and all that. Go check that out. So make sure you subscribe. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Appreciate it. Thanks for everything. See you guys next time.